Do you know, I've been living in this area since I started cycling 10 plus years ago. And the climbs never get old, the views never get old. I just feel like incredibly lucky to be able to show you these things than that like I have this area to play on. And I know it might not seem like anything. You know, we could be in the Alps, we could be anywhere that like is cycling like prime country. But I gotta be honest, like I've literally got everything here right on my doorstep to train and to achieve and there's literally no excuses like this is prime countryside that will get me to the condition I need to be in. How incredible is this? It's uh, it's Tuesday, so what's happened the last few days to keep you up to date? Well, Saturday was the hill climb. Sunday, I did a really nice ride down to Rossilli because it was actually the big Ironman Wales event on Sunday. And so most of Swansea, most of Gower was down there. So it was very quiet over on the Gower Peninsula on Sunday. So I decided to make the most of it. We have some unseasonably hot weather currently. Hence why I'm in shorts and jerseys. It's supposed to get up to 28 degrees today. It was fairly warm yesterday, Monday, but I ended up just doing just a really easy sort of recovery ride because I wanted to get back into some proper training today. But on the cards today, we do have some intervals. I want to maybe get out for an hour and a half, two hours, and then we might top it up with some endurance riding this evening with the group. Now for me in particular, with my preparation ahead of the hill climbs and the British Hill Climb Championships, keeping volume relatively high or doing as much as I can possibly do without becoming too fatigued, is quite important. It's something that I've found to work for me specifically for years and years and years. It certainly forms the basis or the backbone for some of my best ever performances, but that might not be a surprise to hear that. So I'm gonna grow, I'm gonna do some intervals. I got three sets of 30 15s and there'll be eight reps per set. So each set is probably about six minutes long, something like that. So the sets are quite short actually, but that just means I'll be able to go harder, uh, hopefully in the 30 second reps. It's not really to any sort of power target, even though I do give myself like a, a sort of a benchmark. And for this, we've set it at 450 watts, but it's pretty much at capacity, as hard as I can go for each of those 30 second intervals. Now speaking of the weekend just gone, our friend Bryn, who loves an epic ride or two, has just completed this massive ultra endurance event. He started on Friday morning at like 10 a.m. and he finished, and he finished on Monday morning at like 6 a.m. He slept for only 55 minutes, most of it was off-road, it was virtually all off-road. He rode for 62 and a half hours and 900 kilometers. Like, check this out. There's the event there. That is outrageous, Bryn. Absolutely outrageous. Well, if you need some inspiration to ride your bike, that's it right there. Good morning world, 
it's uh, it's a new day but um i'm drinking my coffee this morning before i head out for a ride it's another scorching day and i've come across this youtube channel which uh was recommended to me called wolfpack adventures and the video is called riding in the world's most dangerous mountain bike event and it's 20 minutes of like pure for me, adrenaline filled, like edge of his seat. Dudes just like, and like male and female just sending it off, big drops, like rocky surfaces, slippery rock. Like I'm not sort of into this thing, but when I watch it, it just like, it just makes me all. Yo! Oh, and I, I've always felt really. <laughs> Just finishing off my ride. Two and a half hours cruising back on the cycle path now. Well, what's been a really nice morning. It's uh, only 10.30. And because today was just a just steady, nice ride, uh, like no worries about heart rate power or anything else, I, uh, I headed down to uh, the other coastal path, which is uh, down in Swansea. Obviously, I have to ride through the city centre a little bit, and it's obviously going to be busy at that time in the morning. and. Then I eventually got down to Mumbles and did a little bit of like lane or road searching. I, I knew there was some cheeky little hills in there um, and like no better time on a, on a steady ride than to have a look and see what's there. There's some couple of like really narrow lanes or like roads up to houses and things and a bit more just like access roads, but they're like really gnarly and steep. But yeah, I was just exploring for the sake of it. But I'll tell you one thing, Obviously, like it's really hot today, and, and the last couple of days have been really warm. But you probably noticed this, like wherever you guys live, there's always going to be places that it's like different cultures and different ways people like to relax. And like I know when I go down to Swansea, and obviously it's a city, but like when you get there, you notice the change of life or the change of pace of life. Like there's obviously people going to work and things like that, but then. You get down to Mumbles and there's people just like chilling in uh, in cafes, reading a book or a paper or whatever. And like people also like down by the beaches, there's lots of beaches down there by the Gower Langland Bay and uh, you know, little coves and things. And they've got cafes and you know, people out dipping early morning. And it's like, it's a different, not a different world, but you know, people just relaxing and making the most of the opportunity in the sun of course and the warmth and that's kind of why i went that way this morning on the bike because i like, mentally it's nice to see that and it almost makes my ride pass quicker and it also matches the theme of the easy ride or the, the steady ride really doing one more training session thursday tomorrow and then uh so i'm having like two easy days before the hill climb on sunday down on the uh, well down by another seafront down in sidmouth uh, which is down uh, down really far south of England. So we're going to be traveling down there and, and doing that on Sunday. Another five-ish minute climb. Um, so hopefully we can follow on from last weekend's race and just extend my effort just that little bit longer. Just that little bit longer. Just an extra minute or 30 seconds. And uh, yeah, hopefully all will be good. So yeah, thanks so much for watching everybody. If you're liking and enjoying these videos, please give them a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. Lots and lots of more to come. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time.